All right, hello everyone. My name is Shelley Zigley. I am the creator of this channel, Hather Healings. Um, welcome to this video. Welcome to this space, to this place, to whatever we're creating here on YouTube. I want to thank you if you are a new subscriber. Welcome here. Um, I hope you get something useful from my content. And if you've been here with me since the reemergence of my channel in March of 2023, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you to everybody who comments on my videos, who you know are active in the community board. I really appreciate you and getting to know you. It's, uh, it's been a wild ride. We made it recently to 200 subscribers, which is exciting. I'm celebrating that and I'm celebrating um, all of you who are here. Um, yeah, so today I felt the call to come on and do a video for you guys, but I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to go with it. There was no clear guidance of, yeah, go talk about this. So when I came in um, to my office, which is AKA my old van converted into a sacred space for me, <laughs> um, when I came out here and I started sitting and really asking God, asking, Mother Earth, what is it that wants to be shared today, to come out today? And oftentimes I'll be drawn to my own experience of what I'm moving through, what I'm going through, um, knowing that there's a thread of connection to the collective here as well that can resonate with what that is, okay? So the big word that I see, that I saw, is worthiness. And I want to dig into that topic today. And we'll do a reading, we'll pull cards, we'll, you know, do whatever we feel called to. But worthiness. So I haven't yet done my connecting. Um, we'll do that together. Just taking a moment to close our eyes, become fully present in our body, I like to feel my body feeling nice and dense and heavy, almost like a rock when I do this, right? Just really feeling into it. Moving all the way up to the heavens, to the ethers, feeling that connection, allowing that light to come down, come forth into your body, into my body, into the space of this reading today, into this channel, Hather Healings, asking for protection from outside forces that mean no good, right? Just that it's sealed, beautiful. And that connection right down to the earth. So, you know, if we're sitting, just allowing the roots to come out of our sit bone or the bottoms of our feet all the way down into the core of the earth, holding us, beautiful. And just asking for whatever it is that's required today to be there uh, for this message to come forth powerfully for you guys beautiful okay so we'll see the camera might have gone a little wonky there whenever I do that on the computer it can go weird so we're connected now when I sit with worthiness and how this is coming up for me recently is going on this trip to Ireland so literally I'm going on a, a trip a soul trip right something that I've desired, I've dreamt of, all of these things for a long time. And here it is. Here's the opportunity. Here's the space. Um, it's moving. It's actually done. And it, it's in alignment. It's quite beautiful. But there is still this aspect of me that is panicking. And that aspect of me is the part of me that doesn't fully trust herself, if I'm honest. Now, the weird thing about this is I do trust myself. Logically, cognitively, I'm a smart woman. I have a good head on my shoulders. I'm socially aware. Like all the things, like the logical fears, that's not what I'm afraid of. That's not what I don't trust myself in. It's when I go to not trusting myself, it's not trusting myself that I have everything in order, not trusting myself that I can do this, that I deserve this, that, you know, um, there's still the voice. It's not a literal voice, don't worry. But 
you know, that, that program and that playing of the times and the, the parts of me in the past that couldn't have handled this. And when I explore that deeper, and I even go to those parts that I feel couldn't have handled this, I, I had to re- really question that. Like, really? I probably could have actually handled it even when I believed I, I couldn't handle it, right? So coming to this place of, yes, this is a new experience for me. I haven't traveled um, like this probably ever right? In this capacity, in the way that I'm going on this trip, the things that I'm doing, uh, the people that I'm going with, like all of it is just so beautifully aligned and synchronistic and, and perfect for myself, uh, even for my family and my journey moving ahead, right? Everything is, is perfect. Now that I'm not saying the trip's going to be perfect. I'm not, I don't have those type of expectations, So why the feelings, right? Why the feelings of panic? Why the feelings of uh, even insecurity? Why? What is that about, right? So exploring that deeper has brought me to this place of, right, I'm stepping into new. I'm stepping into a new reality of new, if that makes sense. So what I mean by that is in my home environment, in my community, in, you know, my tribe, I've established myself a certain way. I really have. And I feel really great about it and confident about it. And I love it, right? Like it's, it's the life that I've curated. But now this is going outside in the outside world, right? Um, Going international on our planet Earth, right? To, you know, my homeland. And I haven't done that yet. I haven't placed my feet and made my mark somewhere else yet, right? And whatever that means, you know, that just means that um, this is a new experience and I'm taking my new version of myself into that world, right? So why I feel I'm called to share this with you is because you too are going to find yourself in these similar situations and maybe you already have or um, maybe you're beginning to create that new version of you in your current reality as well and can resonate with some of these things that I'm saying. So I say it a lot and I'm going to say it again. When we're moving into new territory, into a new direction, it's scary, right? Um, When I was shuffling the cards before I started this reading, I picked this Queen of Swords card. It just flew out of the deck. And I'm like, I'm going to hold you, right? And this Queen of Swords energy is essentially what I feel, the making my mark (laughs) internationally energy, right? And that just means I'm taking my energy, my new frequency, my new way of being overseas, somewhere I've never gone before, somewhere I've never been before. So this Queen of Swords energy is going to be a very useful energy. She has a certainty, right? Um, And again, I always say this word with the swords, um, the Queen and King is precision. She speaks clearly. She cuts through the noise and she, she goes, right, confidently and boldly um, through the mental space, right, that she needs to go through and be in to go into this new territory, right? So I'm curious for you where the new territory is for you. What's, what are you walking into that, you know, is intimidating, is scary, and, you know, perhaps this is like a new job, a new connection, right? Um, A new way of, of being yourself, right? And this can even be, you guys, when we shift our physical appearance and our physical um, vibe, right? We are now expressing ourselves and sharing ourselves in a new way. And it can feel really scary. It can feel really frightening um, to do that. And that's why for a lot of us, we get stuck in the same old, same old, same old, same old, because we don't 
feel safe going in that new direction or, you know, expressing ourselves in the way that we truly want to, right? It's really an interesting time. Um, most of you have probably seen the Schumann Resonance, right? Um, it's all over the internet. Every spiritual person, even people who aren't spiritual are suddenly like, oh, look at the Schumann Resonance, right? Um, I mean, it, it's worth noting and it's good that people are sharing it. I just think it's funny when people suddenly spark up on and talk or share about something that they've been closeted with, but who cares? Um, the vibrations in the planet are different, okay? So many of us have been talking about this for quite some time that this is happening and this is coming. Now, I talk about this time um, being a window. Before the Schumann resonance changed, I was picking this up. That literally our planet, you can watch my videos a few videos back, I talk about it, is creating a space for us and a portal for us to plant our seeds, to make our mark, to um, begin to move in this new direction. So utilize this time and this frequency to ground in some of those changes that you've been making some of those um, and maybe even the changes you've been making are mental and you haven't yet physicalized them so again I feel like a broken record sometimes because I'm like do something everything right now is about physicalizing on the physical plane right um, so if you've been thinking about I don't know somebody here wants to change their look for sure because that like I keep hearing this over and over and I'm like why the look okay but do it just do it. It doesn't matter about anything else other than you doing it, right? And being in it. There's planet Earth is going to hold you. <laughs> so forget about, you know, forget about out there. Forget about your friends. Forget about your family. Forget about your colleagues. Forget about what they have to say. Forget it. It doesn't matter, right? Planet Earth is here holding you during this time so again make those moves do the things that's scary for you reach out to the person i don't know like some of you this is a love thing right a connection thing some of you this is a, a work thing a business thing some of you you know it's again self-expression of how you show up um, maybe you want to start a youtube channel maybe you want to you know start doing something similar to what i'm doing here um do it like the, you're being held and it's it's ready for you. The only thing now is you allowing yourself to go into it. You know, I've taught for, for years and because I teach this because it's my own experience in growing is it's scary every single time, no matter what, no matter what type of expansion we're stepping into, um, it's scary. And it's going to be scary. So we just got to be okay with that and know that that's part and parcel to, you know, to what's happening. Okay. So I'm going to, I was going to start with the animal cards, but I heard no moon child. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Um, moon child. So we're going to ask for some cards today. This is the Moonchild Tarot by Danielle Knoll. You can find it online. She is a Canadian artist. I live in Canada as well. So, uh, you know, that's cool. So message for the collective today. I did shuffle the cards before, but I'm also going to just shuffle them a little bit more. So I'm going to also just tap in and tune in and feel you guys, okay? So I see a pyramid, um, which immediately I linked to ancient Egypt, okay? So I feel a lot of you here, and even myself, we have ties to that lineage somewhere. You know, maybe not in our physical bloodline, but in our soul. And in what I see here, it's like the energy is coming up like this. So you're coming up like this. You're beginning to rise to to your peak 
okay? So I don't think it's literally about like you need to learn everything about ancient Egypt and no, but it's like on your life, in your journey, where you're moving now, you're moving up into into the peak of this consciousness. So to embody soul wisdom and to embody um, our highest frequency, we don't have to know and understand all things. We got the sun and we got the emperor when I split. We don't have to know all things about where we come from and all all of that stuff, right? Like I am not telling anyone to go study ancient Egypt. I don't I don't think that's what this is about. What I do think it's about is accessing your highest octave in each and every moment of your day, of your life, of your world, and raising up to the top of that pyramid in how you behave, how you move, how you show up in your world, right? Um, then as you begin to do that more and more, you're going to receive more confirmation, affirmation. Things will just start attracting to you, um, coming to you. Really, like, again, and this is counterintuitive to, you know, what a lot of people say, but I don't believe this is the time for massive research. I think this is the time of massive embodiment, embodiment of who you are. And you will find that the information will come to you. It'll kind of fall on your lap. You'll walk into it rather than in a mental space, trying to seek something, trying to understand something and trying to implement it. That's, you know, that that's the mental game. Um, but more so I'm going to be in the frequency and I'm going to attract and pull in and it will happen because it always does happen, right? Okay, one last shuffle. So we're going to ask for a card today for the collective. We got the Six of Cups. So this is the card of that nostalgia, right? Um, again, as soon as I picked it up, that's what I feel, right? Some of you are longing and <laughs> some of you, I could fit in this too, right? As we're in the, this period of growth, as we're in this period of laying down, um, new foundations and you know understanding we're held and, and this opportunity that we're in the past can call us back right the comfort and safety of who we used to be can pull us back and I'm not saying this in a derogatory way or that this is negative however this is a distraction when I feel in this Six of Cups energy, this is the part of us that says, hey, this feels really unsafe moving here. I want to go back to this part, this bliss that I experienced back here. That's what I want. I want to go to the energies that I already know that are already familiar to me, right? Um, and Source, Spirit, God, you know, Mother Earth are saying, no, you can look. Go ahead and look, right? Look where you've been. Remember, that's fine. But for you to be in those exalted states that your soul wants to be, that your heart wants to be in, even your mind, right, wants to be in, we have to put this energy down and extend our vision wider, bigger, bolder. But yeah, <laughs> the tendency is going to be to want to go into that six of cups energy. So that could even be like, you know, oh, I feel like going home. I want to go to my hometown. I want to go back to what's familiar. I don't recommend it. King of swords. I don't recommend it. Um, King of swords energy, right? This energy, this is the masculine to the queen of swords, which came out right before, you know, I started this reading and is the guiding force of this reading we have the counterpart here of the king of swords so again this is this is the energy that um is required for us to forge ahead in into these new places right it, it's going to take it, again it's not a cut off of the heart space but it's a decision a, a mental decision to cut through the illusion to cut through the nostalgia 
right? We don't need to be sitting and reminiscing and blah, blah, blahing and do, do, doing and whatever. No, we need this guy. Okay. This energy and he ain't playing. He ain't reminiscing. He's, he's like, let's go. And she's like, let's go. Right. Both of these energies are like, let's go. Let's cut through the nostalgia, emotional, um, Again, remember that Knight of Cups we've been picking a lot in these readings? That Knight of Cups energy, that emotional balance, right? That Knight of Cups energy, even though I didn't pick it, but it's present, is saying, no, we're balanced enough that we don't need to be here, live here, go here when we're uncomfortable, right? So let's feel into that Knight of Cups energy. I'm feeling into it. It's like, no, I move forward. I'm emotionally balanced. I'm emotionally secure, doesn't mean I'm not scared because I am scared. Doop, 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 doop. The chariot. <sighs> I move forward. You are moving forward. We are moving forward. Right? No more going backwards. Going backwards at this point is like, like killing the soul. It won't work very well. It will work terribly for us. Um, and, and that's okay because, you know, we, if we feel we need to test the waters, we can. It just won't work. And we'll, you know, get flung on our butt and be like, oh, yeah, right. I knew I probably shouldn't have done that. But this energy is here supporting you, supporting me, the chariot. It's like we're moving. We're moving forward, guys. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Oh, gosh. Tower in reverse. There's another one that flipped over that I'll get into again. Um, remember, if you guys watched, I don't know which one it was. Maybe the one before this one or the one before. It's like with this emotional stability, okay, of the king and queen of swords and the chariot, right? Then we don't have to hit that tower moment. Okay, the tower in reverse, we're, we don't need to break, we don't need to fall. We're actually, we're maintaining, we're standing, we're holding. But if we take this king and queen and chariot energy and we add in this, this reminiscing, this going backwards, right? This tower can easily go like this. And we can experience another karmic loop, another karmic lesson, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to read the tower in reverse here. Okay, it's a short little paragraph. This card denotes the intense, deeply meaningful lessons which are often revealed through devastation, creation, and destruction, masked under the same guise. As a result, your priorities may become crystal clear once everything else has been stripped away. What you have left are the exposed elements of your heart, your raw, pure intent, which feeds your power and your strength. Okay, so I'm reading it a little different than her book, right? Because she's saying that it's instead of the devastation, it's just bringing clarity. Um, but she's still talking about the tower falling. I don't read it that way. I read it that your tower is not going to fall. It's not going to fall, right? That's how I read it. Okay, so... We have the Two of Cups energy. Okay. This is, well, we know this, right? This is union. This is love. This is connection. This is, you know, the beautiful energy. I split it again. We got shadow work. Remember in the, the other video, too, where I talked about shadow work being uh, in the moment learning our shadow, in the moment dealing with our shadow, calling ourselves out, noticing where we're projecting, noticing where we're deflecting, noticing, you know, maybe where we're being um, hard on ourselves, right? Um, this is a constant right now, the shadow work. It's not going away and we need to be in it more than ever in this time, aware of our triggers, aware of our patterns of self-sabotage, right? Let's be super, super, super aware of that. 
gonna take a moment here. I have um, a feeling inside of not feeling good, almost like I'm gonna barf. <sighs> Show me what this is, please. Okay, so with this card, it's also wanting me to talk about uh, interference. So it's also wanting me to talk about psychic attack, okay? Um, and the attacks that are on you, the attacks that are on me, the attacks that are actually quite constant. So the thing about um, outside attacks, right? They don't go away. So energies, entities, um, people that are stuck in hate, jealousy, envy, all of those things that are really stuck there. And if they believe that you are the catalyst, you are a reason why they're in that energy. Um, whether they're conscious or subconscious of it, they are often attacking all the time. There's often a program and whether this is conscious or not, it doesn't matter. So we have to be really aware and you have to be really aware of when something is yours and when something is not yours. And this means vigilant about your protection, vigilant about returning to sender, claiming your energy back, pulling back what's yours, giving back what might be someone else's, right? Um, excuse me, really important. If you think that you're untouchable, um, that's going to be a really, a real detriment. And it actually, the enemy wants to, you to think that you're untouchable. They really do. They want you to think that you're fine and you don't need anything and that you're above it because that gives them way more room to work. That gives them a lot more space to fuck with you. And you don't even know it. You're under a spell where you can't see it. You don't know it. Okay. So even if you don't feel it, Okay, you don't feel attacks coming in. You're like, oh, I'm not being attacked, right? Um, again, that's part of it, right? When you're sending an attack, oftentimes it's better to not be known, right? They don't want to be known because then they can do more with it. So practice your return to sender. This is something that, you know, keeps you really clear because if you're returning to sender, you can't harm someone. You're just sending back the energy that they're projecting at you. You're sending it back to them. Okay. Um, otherwise, when we go into, oh, I think I know who it is. So I'm going to do this. What if it's not? So if you start trying to mess with somebody else, like you, you're in murky waters and murky ground. So I always say return to sender call back your energy, give back energy. This is something that I recently learned. If you're holding on to someone else's energy, give it back. And most of the times we don't want to hold on, but we, it's just something that happens. It happens unconsciously. So give back the energy of whoever you may be holding on to as well. Right? Am I done there? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. This one's been coming out a lot. So guys, repeat cards come out a lot. Why? Because we're moving through the same situations. Like what? I'm recording this two days after I recorded the last one. You think our energies are just like going to be 100% different? They're not. Because this is a cycle we're in, right? The last reading I did when I talked about past lives, I picked up this card as showing all you know, the different past lives around you. But this time I pick this card and I'm like, okay, be ready. Be ready for a shift. Be ready for a change. Uh, again, whether this is an opportunity, this is a, a new career, this is um, a new relationship, this, like, life's going to take a little turn. And again, I, it's not a tower moment, but it's a turning moment. Um be really ready for that. And you can't really be ready for that, but you can be aware. So when something does come up in your reality, you're like, oh, look, we got the fool. Right? Wheel of fortune energy, fool energy go together really well. Because often 
we don't understand that that term and we don't know how to behave and to be in that new uh, term that's why a lot of people will prevent themselves from uh, going on to a new path because they're afraid to be the fool but remember the fool is an incredibly useful energy when we begin something when we walk into something new right uh, when we're taking strong self responsibility the fool energy excuse me is really important the page of pentacles look at that this new opportunity that you're moving into is going to bring a lot of success on the earthly plane now this page energy is it's not like the queen or the king right it's like a little bit immature and immature it just means that it's the beginning this is how i'm picking it up okay it's the beginning of the physicalization of your true aligned soul path of what they call what they call the highest timeline right which means um, the best reality for you to be living out on planet earth at this time i'm gonna crack it again here the six of wands this is what this will lead you to is leading you to forget will is most of you are choosing this most of you are choosing this not all of you yet but a lot of you are Okay, we're going to go into some animal um, cards. I want some guidance from the animal kingdom for us today. My battery is almost dead on my computer, so let's make this quick. You, what are you? The gorilla, nobility and leadership. nobility and leadership so the energy of the gorilla is coming forth to remind you of your nobility and you know what it's it's not like oh remember in my last video i'm like oh i'm egyptian royalty da, da, da. no it's not like that but it's like the owning of i'm a soul here on planet earth and i am worthy of living sharing guiding receiving in the highest octave of who and what I am right and in that highest octave of who and what I really am I am here to show people how to also live in that integrity of their highest soul octave right that gorilla energy there ain't no hiding you you can't hide that you just are that right like you're big you're bold you're being seen you can't hide and you don't want to hide right the gorilla energy is very serious it's very direct it's very uh proud right there's no hiding there's no pretending it is like boom here i am here i am right so feel that feel that frequency boom here i am all right Let's get another one here the seahorse it's funny i when i was shuffling the deck i seen this card father power and constancy constancy okay father power and constancy so the seahorse is actually a warrior they're not little sweet tiny things in the ocean uh, they're predators and in this fatherly power hmm I'm thinking like the divine masculine, right? It's like I see, I protect, I go. So, you know, in some ways it's a beautiful pairing to this gorilla energy. Now, we're balanced enough emotionally that our masculine can come in now and take us where we're actually meant to go. So, you know, for quite a while, many of us had to put our masculine on the side because it was very distorted. <laughs> right it, it had a very clouded view of um, what it needed to do or should do but then we brought in and did a lot of the work with the feminine 
And now we're in a balanced state where this masculine can come forth and we can stand and we can be a leader. We can, uh... right, I see it. So the seahorse, I just was asking for a little more information there. They were showing me like he's constantly working, adding to, right? Being there. Like he's like, he's seeing over everything. And it's kind of like this constant space. Um, not saying that we have to always be doing things, but we have to be creating and connected and adding to what it is we're doing. Making something better, right? Giving it more love, giving it more life, giving it more. So I, I just heard to look over and that there was a card for me to hold. And I'm like, I don't see anything over here because I just have, you know, my decks of cards in their boxes. But there's one card laying out here from one of my decks and it says betrayal. Okay. So we're going to dig into this a little bit because I, I wouldn't have been told to look over there for, and it's funny because I don't usually have cards out. Um, betrayal. So underneath everything for many of us we have a lot of this energy so betrayal from others betrayal to self betrayal to all of those things so when we talk about worthiness like I said at the beginning of this video why do we feel unworthy why am I you know feeling unworthy for this Ireland trip it's because of the betrayal I've experienced in the past with others and with myself right why don't we trust ourselves? Because we've betrayed self, right? And for this entire reading, all of this beautiful energy that came out, those two cards, which I think, no, I didn't put them back. The gorilla and the seahorse, okay? Um, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hold on a moment here. Okay? Right? This betrayal may be looming in the background. But yeah, for sure. We all feel this and we tap into it sometimes. And we have to, if we want to, Anaconda. They just had me split the deck. Camouflage and imbalance. We have to be aware of this energy in self, in others, right? And we also have to alchemize that energy and leave it behind. Ah! Horse energy, journey, ambition. We have to leave it behind. And that is easier said than done. Okay? But the thing that wants to hold you back is this betrayal energy. So it's not going to just disappear, but it has to go back here. And all this anaconda energy, the same thing. It has to go back here. And we have to move forward. I don't know where I put the horse. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I don't know with that horse energy, okay? I think that's the reading for today, you guys. I think that's the reading. We are worthy to step into our light and to step into our path. And we are worthy to choose what is right for ourselves, to overcome this betrayal energy. We are worthy of that. Gosh darn it, I want to stop, but they're not letting me stop. So I'm taking out this deck that this comes from. Hopefully this makes that feeling. Is this what I've been missing? Yes, okay. Okay, 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 okay. The jester, the trickster energy. Okay, this wanted to fly out. Be aware of this energy.
The jester energy wants you to believe you're not worthy, wants you to believe that you need to fix everything. You need to put everything in order. You need to have everything a certain way before you own yourself, before you own who you are and what you truly are. You need to get your shit together. This energy is a fucking liar. You're a liar. Okay? You do not need, guys, this is why I wasn't allowed to end this reading. You do not need everything in order for you to be worthy to experience bliss, expansion, and be taking steps in your soul's direction. Because it's actually the opposite. If you get too busy trying to clear up everything and do everything perfect and have it a certain way, and then you're going to go take those steps, and then you're going to go do those things, you'll be stuck in this energy, and this energy wins. Okay? I know that's a little strong, but that's... Let's go. What else do you want to say here? Peace. Okay? Okay? The peace will come when you fight that jester. That jester energy wants to tell you that you can't do something until. I don't know who needs to hear this, but you do something now. Do not wait until. Do not sit and say, oh, I'm going to look after myself. I'm going to change my look. I'm going to do this when. After. After this. After. No, 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 no. The peace will come when you choose yourself now. When you choose to listen to your heart, to your soul, to your intuition. Right? over anybody else's voice, including my own. Okay? One more. <laughs> One more piece again. This is it, guys. This is it. I'm going to leave the reading on this. You deserve peace. This is available to you, but do not let that jester energy have a fucking say in your world. Do not let it trick you. Do not let it stop you. Yeah. Yeah. Let it get mad. Let it have a little temper tantrum. Let it think all the things it wants to think about you. The jester energy is in its own hole and it does not want to get out. It wants to deflect. It will not take self-responsibility for its role. No, 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 because it wants you to because you're the problem. No, you're not the problem. We're going to end this reading today with that piece. Okay. I'm sending you guys so much love. Um... Yeah, please comment. Let me know how this reading was because I don't, it, you know, this reading feels all over the place for me, but maybe it wasn't. But sometimes when, excuse me, you're in it, you don't know what the hell is coming out of your mouth or what happened. And that's what this reading feels like for me today. So let me know in the comments what this was like for you. Um, I will rewatch it too and see, you know, what I feel about it as well. Um, sending you guys all so much love. You're worthy. Please like this video, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and yeah, if there's someone that you know that could benefit from this message, share it with them, and I think that's everything. Have the most beautiful evening, day, whatever time it may be for you, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.